When I bought this EVGA Z20 mechanical RGB gaming keyboard for around $35, I thought I'd found one of the greatest deals in PC gaming. But there's more than one kind of deal, folks. And it only took one trip to Five Below and a glance into this literal wheelbarrow full of clearance gaming goodies to show me just how far I could stretch my gaming dollars. For within the depths of that wheelbarrow, I found this Booga LED gaming keyboard for only $2.50. Now, it's not going to be replacing my Z20 anytime soon, but it is hard to argue with a deal like that. And that wasn't the only deal to be found at Five Below, where I bought a full bag of Booga branded gaming stuff for about $10 total. So let's take a look at what I got, and let's see if maybe I should have spent my money on a small cheese pizza instead. Hey folks, I'm Boxer of Worlds here, and first up we've got that LED gaming keyboard emblazoned with the name of Kyle Buga Giersdorf, the PC player of the year, apparently. There's all kinds of glowing lights on here, and guess what folks, it is compatible with PC. So we'll look at this a little more later. First, I want to show you all the other gear I got in this Gearsdorf blowout sale. And by the way, if you like watching me spend my hard-earned money on hollow plastic gaming accessories like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to Unboxer of Worlds. Next up, we've got the Booga LED Gaming Mousepad. And I'll tell you what, folks, I already own one of these mouse pads. I bought it for full price about a year ago, and I've actually been very pleased with it. And even though the sticker says $10, it was not. It was $2.50. Don't believe me? Go consult the wheelbarrows at Five Below. They have all the answers. Oh no, that thing opened right up. That opened right up. Is that ever a good sign? I don't know. But for now, we're moving on. Check this out. Well, check it out when I make it right side up. This is the Booga LED Gaming Headset Stand. Because you need LEDs on your headset stand. Again, look at that, $2.50. How do you beat that? Look at this. There's four USB charging ports on this headset stand. How convenient is that? Now, Booga also has some gaming headsets, and according to Five Below's website, they're currently sold out. But I own one, and let me tell you, if you like lots and lots of hollow plastic, that is the gaming headset for you, folks. And if you can still find it for $2.50, it might be worth a try, even though I was not particularly impressed with that headset when it was full price. Now, I want to stress that I bought this clearance stuff in July of 2023, and I have no idea how long this clearance at Five Below is going to last, or whether or not these items have all sold out by the time you're watching this video. According to the Five Below website, there was some other Booga stuff on clearance too, like the Booga Monitor Riser. Now here's mine. I paid full price for this about a year ago, and I have way too much stuff on it. I do not recommend loading it up like this. But it is another cool Booga item on clearance, if you can find it. Now there's one final item I bought at Five Below's Booga clearance sale. One final thing. What better accessory to pair with my top-of-the-line gaming monitor than this $2.50 set of LED speakers with a subwoofer? Okay, folks, it's time to unbox this stuff, and then I'm going to try some of it out. To quote this Five Below bag, let go and have fun. All right, I'm going to start with what I know, the mouse pad. As I said, I've been using one of these Booga LED mouse pads for about a year, and I think it's great. It's got this line of RGB lights running all along the edges, and you've got this button to control the lights. Listen to that. And it also includes a cable to power it up. Nice. You've got some instructions and a Booga card. Apparently these cards are packed in with Booga gaming gear at Five Below, and you can collect them all and put them together like some 1980s anime robot. And on the back, we've got some words of wisdom from the man himself. <clears throat> One year after winning the championship, I can't believe I have my name on a gaming product bananas. This is number four of seven, folks. I can't wait to read more of Booga's wisdom. Okay, so I'm not going to hook up this particular gaming mouse pad. I'm giving this one to my nieces as part of the gaming PC I'm building them for Christmas, but I will show you the one I've been using for the last year, which is the same thing. So I paid full price for this one, and honestly, I thought it was a fair price even then. And as you can see, it has this RGB strip running all the way around the outer edge, I really need to brush some of this dust off my mouse pad, but it feels really nice. It feels like decent quality, at least in my opinion. 
you can see there's been a little bit of fraying over time, and even after a year of use, the edges of the mouse pads still pop up a bit, so I've been using some double-sided tape to keep those down. Here's the button you use to control the lights. Oh, check this out. I unboxed this Logitech G305 Lightspeed Gaming Mouse, so if you're getting bored of this video, go watch that one, but then come back. Anyway, I'm going to press this button. Red. Blue. Yellow. White. Pinkish. Orange. Green. Party time. You get the idea. I really dig this mouse pad. Well done, Booga. Or Bugga, I'm not really sure. All right, next up on our five below Bugga gaming clearance, extravaganza. We've got the Booga LED gaming headset stand. We're gonna unbox it. There's the headphone stand. It's even a phone stand. How cool is that? Four USB charging ports. Very nice. All right, we've got the unboxing knife doing its unboxing best. Lots of tape. Later, knife. Opening the box. Check it out. Oh man, we've got another Booga card. It says, Video games changed my life forever. Maybe they can change yours too. Booga. So the bottom of the stand has some decent padding on it, but this is... This is a lot of hollow plastic. It's not a braided cable either, but I can accept that for $2.50. All right, we've got the neck. And by the way they have designed it, it sure looks like it's adjustable, but it is not. It is a solid, well, not solid. This is as hollow as it gets, folks. The bottom line is, it does not adjust. The adjustability, just like this part here pretending to look like metal, is an illusion. You've got some instructions, and by the way, there's the USB ports. Four of them. Very nice. Now I'm going to connect the neck. Not much fanfare, but that did it. Look at this thing, it's like a majestic swan, or the elusive Loch Ness Monster emerging from the depths to check Five Below's wheelbarrows for clearance deals. How you doing, Nessie? What's up? Okay, let's hook it up and test the USB charging ports. I've got the Booga LED gaming headset stand hooked up, if all goes well. When I fire up my computer, there should be glowing lights everywhere. Oh my gosh! There's glowing lights everywhere. Well, everywhere that's the bottom of this headset stand. But how about those USB charging ports? Will they actually power anything? Well, I've got this little sound bar here. I'm going to plug this into the headset stand, and we're going to see if it lights up. All right, folks, get ready. Oh my gosh, it turned on. Let's try the other ports. Two out of four. Three out of four. And that's all of them. The USB ports on this Booga LED gaming headset stand do indeed power my soundbar. But now comes the most important metric. Will this headset stand actually support a headset? Here we go. Oh my gosh, folks, it's supporting my headset. Now, you're supposed to be able to fit a phone on there too, and I guess your mileage may vary depending on how large your phone is. And I am a little concerned by how much space the stand is taking up on my desk. Still, a very cool device that seems to do exactly what it sets out to do. But we're only halfway through this Booga Bonanza. Let's see what else we've got. So I guess I'm going to unbox this guy next. The Booga LED Gaming Speaker with Subwoofer for $2.50. It's got bass tuning, an on-off switch, volume control, so let's unbox it. Apparently, I don't even need the unboxing knife for this part. Wonderful. I can already see the Booga card sticking out, as if it can hardly wait to share its wisdom with the world. I cannot wait to read that, folks. Well, looks like we get to use the unboxing knife after all. Nice. Instructions, and what is sure to be another riveting Booga card. It says... Don't try to mimic what others do. Be true to yourself. Thanks, Booga. So this already looks pretty robust. You've got the subwoofer. It's made out of plastic, but the volume control has a nice click to it. Listen to that. Want to hear something else? That's plastic as plastic gets. Here's the speakers. I can only assume these are the lights up top, and all of these components are pretty lightweight. Okay, time to hook up these speakers and subwoofer and to see what kind of audio experience $2.50 will get me. Look at that, folks. Look at the power and the majesty of these Booga LED gaming speakers with subwoofer.
And as you can see, folks, we've got lights. Lights on the subwoofer, lights on the speakers. But how do they sound? Well, we've got a problem, folks. While the audio sounded okay when listening to YouTube or editing a video, something weird happened when I fired up the Resident Evil 4 remake. Listen to this. Now, when the game's audio kicks in, I can hear it, but it's hard to commentate on the quality of it because it has to compete with this interference, this screeching wail of agony. And for me, this is not acceptable, even for $2.50. But I was not willing to give up on my investment. So I returned to Five Below, delved deep into the wheelbarrows once again, and exchanged my speakers for a fresh set. It was not $10, it was still $2.50. Now if these new speakers don't work, I will not be taking them back again. It is now or never. All right, we've got lights, but do we have sound? We got something. We got something. I'm not hearing the sizzle. I'm not hearing the sizzle, folks. I actually have ammo for. Oh my gosh, folks. Second time's the charm. All right, folks, wasn't that exhilarating? And it leaves us with one final item, the Booga LED gaming keyboard compatible with PC. So it looks like a full-size keyboard. You've got the number pad over here. You've got glowing lights, laser-cut keys, and WASD gaming keys. Is that really a feature? And the box claims this keyboard has an ergonomic design. By the way, it looks like a dog attack, this box. When I went to Five Below, this seemed to be the only clearance Booga gaming keyboard left at that particular store. So good luck out there, folks. If you want one, I really hope you can still find it. All right, are you ready? It's Booga time. Oh man, the anticipation, folks. We've got instructions, and we've got one more Booga card. It says, you don't have to be from a big city to do something big. I'm living proof. I'm actually excited. I am excited, folks. It feels like a keyboard. It's way lighter feeling than my Z20, but I'm still excited. You ready? Look at that. Look at that overwhelmingly plastic keyboard. Oh man, these keys are squishy. But it really doesn't feel that bad. I mean, for $2.50, and you've got some feet on the back. So now I'm going to take this keyboard, I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to play some Resident Evil 4 Remake on my new Booga Gaming Keyboard. You ready? Let's go. Here's my Booga gear. The subwoofer and speakers, the mouse pad, the headset stand, and I'm sorry, my dear EVGA Z20 but you are going to have to move over so I can experience the true gaming prowess of this $2.50 Booga keyboard. And there it is, folks, in all its glory. I don't know if these lights are controllable at all, or if what you see is what you get, but they sure look cool. It is time. Let's fire up some Resident Evil 4 Remake and see what this keyboard can do. All right, so this keyboard is not terrible. The keys are very mushy, and it is not the most tactile experience, but it works. You can control the game. I don't think I'd enjoy using this keyboard long term, but it's not unusable. So what's my final verdict on this Five Below Discount Booga Gaming Extravaganza from the Clearance Wheelbarrows? Well, there's good and there's bad. My favorite part is the mouse pad. It actually feels like a decent mouse pad, and I've been using mine for a year now, and I'm very happy with it. So getting one for $2.50 is just an awesome deal in my opinion. The headset stand seems pretty nice too, but I'm probably not going to use it just because I feel it takes up too much space on my desk. The speakers and subwoofer? Well, once I exchanged the first set for a new set, they were actually pretty decent, pretty clear, not super loud, but not awful sound quality either. I, I actually dig them. I think I'm going to keep them. Just be careful if you get them. Test them. And don't be afraid to try and exchange them if you get a bad set. Hopefully Five Below will still have some in stock. And as far as the keyboard goes, it's really mushy, it's really light, it's not my ideal gaming experience. But for $2.50, I think it's actually kind of great. But if you've ever used a higher quality gaming keyboard, you'll probably be disappointed. So, if you want any of this stuff, get down to Five Below and see what's left. I really hope you find something. So this was fun. 
If you had fun too, like and subscribe, check me out on social media at Unboxer of Worlds, and stay tuned for more. We'll catch you later. Booga!